Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. We are talking about simplifying logic circuits and making them more, more cheaper simply by using NAND and NOR technology. Last time we simplified this logic circuit, we said okay this is the table of truth and we had this with the Kano map, we did this. Yeah? Today I will do exactly the same example, yeah? but I will transfer it afterwards to NAND and NOR technology as well. Okay, so I will start over with this Kano map simply to show you, hey, there is no order in the Kano map. Yeah? Last time we used here this x, x1, x, not x1, x2, not x2, and today I will do it totally different and we see the result is the same. Yeah? So I will use simply, I don't know, here x, not x1 and here x1. Uh, then I will use here x2, not x2. Then we use here, for instance, x3 and not x3. And here, not x4 and x4. Then we should be totally different from last time. Now we are then transferring this table of truth, which is the same. So false, 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 false. False, false, uh, false, false. Here we are. This is now here. And here, true, true, false, false, uh, true, true, false, false, this one is here, yeah. false, false, true, false, 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 true, false, here we are, and then we have false, 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 true, false, 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 true, here we are. Then this true, false, false, true, true, false, false, true. Here we go. True, true, false, true. True, true, false, true. Here we are. Then we have false, false, true, true. False, false, true, true. Here we go. And then we have true. False, true, true. True, false, true, true. Zack. Yeah. This is how this looks now. Yeah. It's looking different. Different than last time. Yeah. It's just simply because, but I have to find groups as well. So let's find one group. Ah, uh, let's find this group here. Yeah. This is, this is a group. Group of four. What has this group in common? X1, yes, it's not X1. Yeah. X2, yes, and not X2. X3 is changing, X4 is changing, that's it. That's this group. Yeah. Or, what other group do we have? Yeah. Well, one comes into focus. Yeah. This is exactly this one. Yeah. Two, this two here. What is this? X1, X1, yes, and X2, yes, X2 is also the same, X3, yeah, not X3, X4, X4 is changing, all right? And now we could also use this group and this group. Yeah? We, we, we could use this. Yeah? However, I said last time, we can group also by borders, so I can make a group like this. And the bigger a group, the better it is. Yeah? So I group it like that. I said we, you could imagine that this is wrapped around. All right. So what has this group in common? X1, no, X1 is changing. X2, yes, it's not X2. Yeah? X3, X3 is changing. And, it, and X4. Yeah? And I'm done. I have covered all ones. And if we look at that, It looks pretty much, it looks the same. Yeah? Maybe the, the colors are a little bit different. X1 and not X2. Not X1 and not X2 here. Not X2 and X4 here. X1 and X2 and not X3. Exactly the same. This, the result was exactly the same as with others here. So we are fine. Yeah? And now I will just... Uh, 
make a little bit simplification, node x2 and node x1 or x4. Huh? So two two terms and this one we state the same. Okay, and now we are making again our logic circuit in standard elements. So we're having x1, x2, x3, x4, and I will do it exactly like last time. So this one is our first, it's an OR. I will place it here. Here we have an OR. One input is NOT, and this comes from x1, NOT x1, and one input is x4. Okay, and we have this. Yeah. Then we will use this here. This is an end. And one input comes one input is inverted. That's from coming from x2. X2. And then one input is coming from here. Good. Alright, then here, what have we got here? This here, it's an end. Mm -hmm. This time I wrote black. And it's x1 and x2. Okay, and then we have this this combination here, that's an end as well, one is inverted, this inversion, inverted stuff comes from x3, and in the end we need this OR here, this big OR, well big, this last OR, And here we are, we are Y. All right, so we see it's pretty, it's exactly the same circuit as we have done last time. Yeah? However, this time with different, different Canoe map. And now we want to transfer this to NAND and NOR. Yeah? So we have had this NAND and NOR technology, we talked about this. Yeah? So let's first do it with NAND. Right. So transfer this to NAND in NAND technology. I'll place this here so that we can see. This is this is the the circuit, the logic circuit we want to transfer to NAND. So I will also use four signals and I will make them bigger because I know we probably need more elements. X1, X2, X3 and X4. Good. Now let's, let's try to, to solve this, so this red one, uh, this red OR. What is an OR? What is an OR in NAND? This is an OR in NAND. Okay? This is an OR in NAND, and I need to, to NOT one input. So I will first draw this NOT. Uh, so a NOT in NAND looks like that. That's the ring here, yeah, and it comes from X1. It comes from X1, so let's draw it from X1. Alright, and now we need the OR. And the OR, just shown you, it's looking like that, that we have here. Two elements. And the third element here. These are of course NANDs, because it's the only 
only element we are using right now here tuck 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 this is a knot this is also a knot and from where does this come the second input it comes from x4 so from x4 draw it here this is the red one now let's make the blue one the blue one is also a knot okay so i need a knot This comes from X2. Here we go. And then we need an AND. And an AND in AND, let's have a look. An AND in AND is simply an AND and then NOT. Yeah? So we do it like that. There is an, there is an AND. And then I add a NOT behind. Yeah? So these are NAND elements. This is the NAND. Yeah? And one part comes from here. This is this ringle. Yeah? Ringle. And one part comes from here. This line. Right? So that's the that's one. These are two. Yeah? Now let's look at the green one. It's just an end. An end was easy. This was an end. Yeah? This was the blue end. And I'm now adding a green end. So it's an end and then inversion. And one input comes from x1 and the other input comes from x2. So it's x1 and x2 yeah. good this is how this looks and now the orange one yeah we need a knot it's not x3 so yes fast and then we need again an end. Yeah? So we have an end. That's the end. One side comes from here. Yeah? And the other side comes from here. All right, so now, now we, have, we are here, actually, we're here. And the only thing missing now is that OR. Yeah? We still need that OR and an OR in AND we already had. This is an OR in AND. And I will place this now here, get rid of this. Now we know we only need an OR. And, well, let's have a look. We need one NAND, another NAND, a third NAND. No, not. These are knots here. Here we are done. Here we have Y. And here one comes from here. And one comes from here. And that's it. You know? Now, I'm not using... I'm not using one, two, three, four, five elements. I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Great. Huh? Ah, it's not that severe huh? because we can cancel some. Huh? We can really cancel some two knots after each other. It's not necessary, right? So if we have two knots after each other, we can simply strike them Pfft, gone yeah for instance here two knots zack zack weg yeah gone weg <laughs> weg weg is german weg gone yeah do we also have somewhere else to here not not look at that yeah not not here also not not yeah 
And then, mm, I think that's it. Yeah. And then let's see if we skip those those elements. Yeah. If we get rid of them, how does the how does the circuit look like then? X one. X2, X3, X4, good, so I will only draw black, so we have here a knot. This comes from X4, then we have this end here. This one, this end, one side and the other side comes directly from X1, because whatever was built in there, we skipped. Alright, then we had, we have this one here, a knot, from so X2. And then we have this one here. One side comes from here, and the other side comes from here. That's it. Then we are here. Yeah? And let's see here, down here, we have here an end from X1 and X2. Then we have another end. This we cannot get rid of. Then here we have also a knot. This comes from X3. Then we have this one. One side comes from here, the other side comes from here. All right, and then we have only one left in the middle. And we are there. And how many elements do we now use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So it's nine. Significantly less than we used here. Yeah? So, you see, it is reducing itself again. Yeah? So, okay, we need more elements in NAND. However, like I said, if you only purchase one element, it's much simpler, much cheaper in the end. Yeah? And so, we have it here cheaper than before. So, this was this example in NAND. Yeah? Now let's have a look how this looks in, in NOR. Yeah? If we transfer this to NOR, exactly that example must be somewhere lying around here. Where is it? Here. This we want to transfer now to NOR technology. And again, I will draw the lines here. So we have again x1, we have x2, we have x3, we have x4, All right, now let's start with the red one again. The red one, then the node technology. A knot looks exactly like that. Yeah? And an ore looks like that. All right. Yeah? So I think we can manage. So we will draw now this knot, the first element. coming from X1. Then we have an OR. This means we have here two 
no elements in a row all right this the top element comes from here and it comes from x4 here we are from x4 here we go that's the red one and the blue one we also have to do a knot yeah, so we have a knot the knot comes from x2 good and then we have an end and an end in no technology let's have a look that's an end in no technology okay so we need four elements we have here one here one and here one three elements of course three one two three <laughs> and all of them are nor we make a knot in between and this upper part comes from here uh, so here we are going back that's it this is the blue one and now we have we do the green one uh, the green one there is an end and looking like this so I draw an end There we go, that's the end, and it's coming from x1 and x2. Then we need this one, yeah? so we need a knot. This is the knot. And this is coming from X3. Good. And then we have an end. Eh? So we have this combination once again. That's this this one, and here the upper part comes from the green. Okay, good. And the rest is only an OR, and an OR we have already drawn. So I will get rid of this sheet once again, huh? and I will draw here this OR, final OR, which is two NOR elements. one from here one from here why and we are already done all right here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen elements huh? now let's see how much of those elements we can get rid of because it's two in a row here one two duck 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 Ooh, that's already it. That's already it. Okay. Let's see how this looks like now. If I'm drawing it once again. X1. X2. X3. X4. Okay. So start here. Huh? This is a knot. And then we have another element here. This comes from X1. This comes from X4. 
then we are here. Yeah. Then we need this one. Yeah. This. We can go directly in, and this comes directly from x2. Alright, then we are here. This one hmm, does not change too much, so we have here... This was previously greenish drawn. I will draw now in black. One comes from X1, one comes from X2. Alrighty, then we have this one, and we have this one. This comes from here, we have this line and we have this, then this comes from here, and this comes directly from X3. Then we are done here, and then we only have this one. Yeah? So we have still two elements to go. We are combining these two. And here we are. Y. And now with how many elements do we end up? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One more. 10. Yeah? But again, you see, significantly, significantly reduce the amount of, of, even if we blow it up first by using only one element, this amount is going to be reduced as well. And then you can think about how to solve this, either with, with uh, NAND or with NOR technology. Huh? And I hope this, this, example was now helpful for you okay i hope really this was was helpful for you here we have the NAND and here we have where we started two different two different things okay so now we know logic base elements now we know what NAND and NOR technology is now we know how to simplify things yeah so Base logic circuits should not be an issue for us anymore. Yeah? So we should exactly understand how we can deal with it. However, what we have not talked about right now is, uh, you know, I said oh, there are logic circuits which may also memorize the states which were before. Yeah? So not only react on the inputs, but react on the inputs and previous states of the input or of the logic. So we need to store something. That's our next, our next task. Yeah? We're talking about how we might store things. Yeah? How we might store logic signal. Yeah? One bit memory. Next time. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.